Okay, we've got everything ready to go. Two 6 volt batteries, no diode. Same as the first X3 video, only this time we add the load of the 26.9 watt Philips DC resistive bulb. We are using it in the ordinary way of motor generator input output calculation with a load this time and battery same as before and start the meter Not quite zeroed out yet. Zeroed out. And I have to start the test. And start the load. And we have a glow. So this is the regular way of uh, motor generator input output. We start at the same. See how much power we get out of here. How long it lasts. Still got some glow. So we'll see how this behaves. Not so much amps and very low voltage. And we'll see how is that wattage coming down or up for it. Okay, the thing to note here with with this load is that the uh, glow has already gone out after five minutes but uh, with the other tests the glow stayed for a good more than half an hour with the LRC without the LRC normal way that it's used already it's showing less output power than was obtained under the load with the LRC so theoretically if it is running at a, such a lower output and it's, this is the normal way it would be calculated and used with the formulation anyway. Okay, this is uh, hooked up the ordinary way with the two, two uh, six volt batteries to the uh, light. This light has not been glowing since the five minute mark, whereas it would glow for 40 minutes or more with the LRC. So there's no LRC here and it's definitely not glowing in, in at, the ha at half that time, which is 20 minutes and here's the readings we're getting it's starting to slow down so this would be the, uh, the comparison of a load the surprising thing is is that it still ran the same time with the load with as without so we'll have to compare the power And even though that hasn't been glowing for 15 minutes at all, it's still providing some resistance to this load. 
but it still lasted <laughs> at least as long, which is really funny. As without a load, the ordinary usage of a motor generator, input output, and the way it is calculated. And where do we get? Hmm, the same time, well, there was the power delivered straight through to the batteries. Twenty one minutes. One point three volt, point six amp, point seven watt hour, and two point two five nine amp hours at a lift. Okay, here again, November twentieth, twenty seventeen. Okay, uh, start that uh, test again. That we are going to put this twenty six watt load again on there. Okay, now we're uh, connected up here. Just clear this out. And we'll start it up. And we'll connect the load. Okay, we're at a time of uh, 15 minutes. There's still a glow in the bulb. This is using the LRC with the load. The two six volt theory being uh, that if it is going back to the battery, it's either charging or it's adding resistance. And that's it. 45 minutes time stopped at 1.5 volt 1.99 amp 1.48 watt 0.617 amp hour 2.1 watt hour Check out the Indiegogo campaign, contribute if you can, what you can, and spread the word on social media.